обращаюсь к вам в связи с кровавым варварским террористическим актом. When a mysterious comet crashed into the Siberian deserts, Russian scientists embarked on a journey to uncover one of the most mysterious cosmic events of our time. While on these explorations, they discovered some mind-bending phenomena no one would believe if they did not have them on camera. From sighting flying saucers to discovering strange creatures, Russian scientists and archaeologists have been able to unearth some questionable bodies. Without a doubt, these could have a serious impact on the world as we know it. What could have caused an explosion, the equivalent of 15 megatons of TNT? What did the Russians find deep under the permafrost? Why does it seem like Russia is the new location for paranormal activities? Join us in this video as we examine what this camera captured in Russia terrifies the whole world. When you think about Russia, what probably comes to mind is a stretch of dense forest and icy tundra that used to be the stage for some of the most baffling events in history. A few important events have happened in the Siberian region that have been shrouded in mystery for a very long time. In the early hours of June 30th, 1908, a remote region in Siberia became the epicenter of one of the most enigmatic events in modern history. Eyewitnesses in the Tunguska River region of Russia saw a bright flash of light striking across the sky, followed by a series of explosions that shook the ground with tremendous force. The event, which is now known as the Tunguska Meteor Strike, has left scientists and locals baffled for many years. The blast of this impact was so powerful that it flattened about 770 square miles of forest. This is equivalent to the size of a major city. The destruction of this Tunguska event was immense, as trees were uprooted and scorched. The trunks of trees were burned in a radial pattern that extended outward from the epicenter, and the explosion released the energy equivalent to 15 megatons of TNT. The force of the explosion was so intense that it could be felt hundreds of miles away, and witnesses reported seeing a column of smoke rising high into the sky for days. It is said that the force of the blast was equivalent to that of a large nuclear bomb. However, no crater was found at the site of the impact. The shockwave generated by the Tunguska explosion was felt as far away as Europe and Asia, and it produced atmospheric effects that were observed around the world. Night skies glowed with eerie color, and the aurora borealis was visible as far south as London and New York. Scientists studying the event likened it to the detonation of a massive aerial bomb, yet no evidence of a meteorite impact was ever found. In the aftermath of the Tunguska event, numerous theories were proposed to explain its cause. Some scientists suggested that a meteoroid or comet had exploded in the atmosphere, while others speculated about the possibility of a nuclear explosion or even an encounter with an extraterrestrial spacecraft. While experts were still working on understanding what happened in Tunguska, another mysterious meteor struck in Chelyabinsk, Russia. This extraordinary event unfolded on February 15, 2013, above the Ural Mountains, leaving behind a trail of destruction in the region. The Chelyabinsk meteor, which was estimated to be about 65 feet in diameter and weighing over 13,000 metric tons, entered the Earth's atmosphere at 40,000 miles per hour. As this colossal meteor streaked through the sky, it emitted a blinding flash of light, brighter than the sun, before producing a series of deafening explosions. The region impacted by the Chelyabinsk meteor strike was vast, with the effects felt across a wide area of central Russia. Chelyabinsk took most of the hit from the meteor as windows shattered, buildings trembled, and residents were thrown into a state of panic as the whole city shook. This city is located about 900 miles east of Moscow. The destruction caused by the Chelyabinsk meteor strike was significant, but fortunately, not catastrophic. Thousands of buildings were damaged, and over 2,500 people were injured, mostly by flying glass from shattered windows. Thanks in part to the prompt response of emergency services, there were no reported fatalities. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Chelyabinsk meteor strike was the sheer power of the shockwave it produced. 
the force of the explosion was equivalent to that of 30 to 40 Hiroshima atomic bombs. The good news is that it occurred high in the atmosphere, minimizing the impact on the ground. The shock wave generated by the explosion still shattered windows, collapsed roofs, and sent people fleeing in terror. In the aftermath of the Chelyabinsk meteor strike, scientists from around the world scrambled to study the event and its implications. They analyzed data from seismographs, satellite imagery, and eyewitness accounts to piece together the sequence of events and understand the nature of the meteor and its trajectory. These events remind us that we are under constant threat from near-Earth objects. These events may be rare, but they are not unprecedented. They also remind us of how far off we are from planetary defense efforts and how much damage we bring to ourselves as humans. Aside from the many cosmic threats coming in from outside our planets, right here on Earth are mysteries that defy conventional explanation. Some of these anomalies challenge our understanding of the natural world. One of the most intriguing environmental anomalies to be seen in recent years is the phenomenon of gaping holes appearing in the Siberian landscape. These massive craters can be as large as football fields and have left scientists baffled and alarmed. This has called to question the stability of the Earth's surface and the widespread impact of climate change. The origins of these mysterious holes remain shrouded in mysteries, but scientists believe that they may be linked to the thawing of permafrost in the region. As global temperatures rise, the frozen ground of Siberia begins to melt, releasing trapped methane gas that builds up pressure underground. When this pressure becomes too great, it can trigger explosive releases of gas, creating the gaping holes that have captured the world's attention. These gaping holes represent a ticking time bomb of the dangers posed by climate change and the potential for catastrophic environmental disruption. As more holes continue to appear across Siberia, scientists warn of the potential for even larger releases of methane gas, which could accelerate global warming and further destabilize the Earth's climate. In cities around the world, reports have surfaced of mysterious smoke rings appearing seemingly out of nowhere. These eerie phenomena, often accompanied by a faint humming sound, have left witnesses puzzled and intrigued. Some speculate that the smoke rings are the result of natural phenomena or industrial processes. Some others believe they may be evidence of extraterrestrial activity or even interdimensional portals. There have also been puzzling instances of objects falling from the sky with no apparent explanation. From chunks of metallic debris to mysterious objects, scientists have been unable to explain this phenomenon. In the skies above Moscow, another curious phenomenon has been captured on camera. They look like saucer-shaped clouds and smoke rings. These strange formations, which resemble UFOs or flying saucers, have been documented in photographs and videos, sparking speculation about their origin and meaning. Many meteorologists attribute saucer clouds to atmospheric conditions, such as temperature inversions or the presence of mountain waves. The appearance of smoke rings remains too suspicious. These are probably manifestations of alien technology and paranormal activity. While the gaping holes of Siberia may capture headlines, another environmental anomaly quietly unfolds beneath the surface of our lakes and rivers. These have the fingerprints of man on them. Across the globe, bodies of water once teeming with life have become polluted and contaminated, victims of human activities ranging from industrial pollution to agricultural runoff. The consequences of this pollution are far-reaching and severe. Aquatic ecosystems are thrown out of balance, with native species dying off and invasive species taking their place. The fish population is dwindling rapidly, leading to a lack of food sources for communities. The water supply has also become unsafe for human consumption, leading to a host of health problems. Another man-made disaster is the aftermath of nuclear disasters that have left a legacy of radioactive contamination. From Chernobyl to Fukushima, entire regions are rendered uninhabitable, their landscapes scarred by the invisible hand of radiation. The unpredictability of nuclear disasters is what makes them scary. Despite our best efforts to control nuclear power, accidents still happen. Wildlife populations suffer mutations and genetic abnormalities, 
with species struggling to survive in the face of an ever-present threat. Human health is compromised, with increased rates of cancer, birth defects, and other illnesses haunting those who call these radioactive sites home. One such tragedy is the Russian Kursk marine disaster. Very few tragedies are as haunting because of far-reaching consequences. It all went down in August 2000, on a stormy night in the Barents Sea, during a Russian naval exercise. The nuclear-powered project Kursk submarine drowned in an accident that killed all 118 personnel on board. The marine vessel encountered treacherous conditions as the waves towered above them. Despite the warnings of seasoned sailors and concerns from crew members, the ship pressed on, without thought for the gravity of the dangers below the surface. Unfortunately, in the dead of the night, the Kursk marine vessel collided with a hidden riff, which tore a gaping hole in its hull. Following this impact, the marine vessel immediately plummeted into the icy depths, leaving little time for the escape or salvation of the sink. In the chaotic moments that followed, the true extent of the tragedy became painfully clear. Crew members scrambled for lifeboats and life jackets, their frantic efforts hampered by the darkness and confusion engulfing the stricken vessel. Passengers, many of them unaware of the impending danger until it was too late, found themselves trapped below decks or cast into the churning sea, their cries for help lost in the roar of the storm. The Russian Navy did not realize that an accident had occurred and did not initiate a search for the vessel for over six hours. The submarine's emergency rescue buoy had been intentionally disabled during an earlier mission, and it took more than 16 hours to locate the submarine, which rested on the ocean floor at a depth of 108 meters. Over four days, the Russian Navy repeatedly failed in its attempts to attach four different diving bells and submersibles to the escape hatch of the submarine. Its response was criticized as slow and inept. Officials misled and manipulated the public and news media, and refused help from other countries' ships nearby. In the wake of the disaster, questions were raised, investigations were launched, and fingers were pointed in search of someone to blame. It soon became apparent that the tragedy was not simply the result of a freak accident or an act of nature beyond human control. Instead, it was the product of a series of avoidable mistakes and oversights, from faulty navigation equipment to inadequate safety protocols, all compounded by a culture of complacency and profit-driven decision-making. Siberia has not only been the location of cosmic events, there have also been several enigmatic discoveries in the region that beat human understanding. One such is the Siberian monster mummy, which is one of the most puzzling artifacts that have been unearthed. In the summer of 2018, a team of researchers stumbled on the mummified remains of an unknown creature, buried beneath the permafrost in the remote wilderness of Siberia. This body measured roughly 1.5 meters in length and had a bizarre elongated skull. Its appearance was unlike any known species native to that region. Experts have come up with a few speculations that the creature was part of an undiscovered species of ancient mammals that roamed the Earth millions of years ago. Other scientists have argued that this is the first true sign of an extraterrestrial creature, perhaps a visitor from another world. The experts say that various features of the creature's anatomy defy conventional explanation. Its elongated skull bears a resemblance to depictions of aliens that we know. The fact that this monster mummy was found buried deep beneath the permafrost means that it may have been frozen in time for millions of years. Also, the creature may have crash-landed on Earth in the distant past and somehow was unable to revive. However, there have been people who do not subscribe to these conclusions. They believe that the creature's unusual appearance could be the result of natural processes or even human intervention. Some suggest that it may be a deformed specimen of a known species, while others argue that it could be an elaborate hoax perpetrated by pranksters. But the truth remains that no prankster can bury a body within the permafrost without a trace of contamination. There is a similar discovery in Mexico, where an extraordinary exhibition is capturing the minds of onlookers. The bodies of alien corpses are put on display and have sparked an intense debate about the existence of life beyond our planet. The story begins with a series of alleged UFO sightings in the Mexican desert 
where locals claimed to have witnessed strange lights in the sky and encountered otherworldly beings. These sightings, coupled with reports of mysterious crashes and unexplained phenomena, might be a sign that Mexico is a hotspot for extraterrestrial activity, just like Siberia. The alien corpses said to have been recovered from crash sites and secret government facilities are now on display for all to see. Measuring only a few feet tall, with elongated heads and slender limbs, these creatures bear little resemblance to anything found in nature. Their untoward appearance has left scientists wondering. Some experts believe that the creatures may have been part of a diplomatic mission from a distant planet, seeking to establish contact with humanity. Others suggest that the bodies may be the result of genetic experimentation or mutations caused by exposure to radiation or other environmental factors. Despite the skepticism, the exhibition continues to draw crowds of curious visitors eager to catch a glimpse of the extraterrestrial remains. The possibility that we may not be alone in the universe is a tantalizing prospect, one that challenges our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. The people who believe that these discoveries were from ancient civilizations have some evidence to prove their point. High in the Andes Mountains of South America, just around the Argentina-Chile border, lies the ancient site of Lulelaco. This is where the Ice Maiden mummy was found. It is said that nearly six centuries ago, a group of Inca children were sacrificed to the gods in a ritual known as Capacocha. The well-preserved mummy was discovered in 1999 by archaeologist Johann Reinhard. Wrapped in colorful textiles and adorned with exquisite ornaments, the Ice Maiden helps us to understand the religious practices and beliefs of the Inca civilization. Other examples include the Conehead Skeleton in the remote village of Paracas in Peru. Archaeologists made a startling discovery in the early 20th century. The remains of individuals with elongated skulls. This sounds very similar to the discovery in Russia. Some theories suggest that the cone heads were the result of deliberate cranial deformation practiced by ancient cultures for aesthetic or ritualistic reasons. However, there may be proof that these bodies are the remains of extraterrestrial beings. Despite the extensive research and mystery, archaeologists and historians remain intrigued by this perplexing discovery. One of the most interesting locations for alien and paranormal activities is nestled in the countryside between Switzerland and France. It is the marvel of modern science where a colossal machine is working to unlock the secrets of the universe by recreating conditions that existed before the Big Bang Theory. The Large Hadron Collider in Geneva spans a circumference of one mile and is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. While the LHC is renowned for its groundbreaking discoveries in particle physics, it is also known as home to some of the most mysterious paranormal activities. One of the most commonly reported phenomena is the sighting of strange lights and unexplained apparitions by LHC staff and visitors alike. Witnesses have described seeing orbs of light darting through the corridors, flickering in and out of existence with uncanny speed. Others have reported encounters with shadowy figures that seem to materialize out of thin air, only to vanish without a trace. In addition to these sightings, there have been reports of inexplicable sounds emanating from the depths of the LHC's subterranean chambers. Some have described hearing eerie whispers and disembodied voices echoing through the tunnels, while others have reported hearing strange banging noises and metallic clangs that seem to defy explanation. There have been many discussions on humanoid creatures for centuries, from the legendary Bigfoot in America to the Yeti of the Himalayas. These beings have been seen as a possibility Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch, is perhaps one of the most famous humanoid creatures believed to roam the forests of North America. Described as a large, hairy, ape-like creature, Bigfoot sightings have been reported by people from various regions, each claiming to have encountered this elusive being. Despite decades of search efforts and numerous alleged sightings, concrete evidence of Bigfoot's existence remains evasive leaving skeptics and believers alike to ponder the truth behind the legend. It also bears a resemblance to Slavic legends like Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga is a witch-like figure, often depicted as an old woman 
who lives in a hut that stands on chicken legs. She is said to fly around in a mortar, wielding a pestle, and is known for her capricious nature. In today's digital age, social media is an important tool for sharing information and sparking conversations. It has also been a place for engaging in public discussions about some of the weird sightings around the world. When archaeologist Johann Reinhard discovered the remarkably well-preserved remains of the young Inca girl atop the Andes Mountains, he never could have anticipated the widespread attention her story would receive thanks to the reach of social media. Images and videos of the Ice Maiden, wrapped in colorful textiles and adorned with intricate ornaments, quickly spread across the internet, captivating audiences with her haunting beauty and poignant story. From amateur historians to armchair archaeologists, people from all walks of life shared their thoughts and theories about her origins, sparking lively discussions and debates on platforms like Reddit and YouTube. This might be a good way to get the best ideas from around the world to solve some of the most extreme secrets. It is also important for easy dissemination of footage, for security reasons. However, social media can also be a platform for spreading misinformation. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, click on the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.